This is Apollo Control at 126 hours, one minute. And we're 50 seconds away from acquisition of Apollo 10 on the 26th lunar revolution. We'll stand by live during this acquisition time. Apollo 10, Houston, we're standing by, out. Go ahead, 10. Okay, we've been delaying a little bit, like they suggested after that T2 time, but the thing gets uh, just about out of sight here, and John has to hurry up on the last one. So we've been waiting about 20 seconds, and that's about it after the T2 time. Uh, Roger, uh, 10, we copy. Uh, sure, that's okay. It that, uh, sounds good, and a uh, little rundown on your... Uh, CP1, CP2 uh, marks on uh, Rev 25. They looked uh, real good to us. Uh, the marks were good and the spacing was good. Uh, we're real happy with that. Over. Okay, real fine. And uh, just might pass along to the Fido troops down there that we noticed the star we could identify coming up. We said, well, it must be something else in orbit with us. And sure enough, uh, this last pass, it got close enough. It's the bottom part of Snoopy, and Gino with the binocular can see his legs, a reflection off his legs. So as he went uh, out and behind us, like I guess I read that one study that came out, he's, we're going to slowly catch up with him. Well, we're starting to catch up with the bottom part of Snoopy. Something has torqued him out of plane a little bit, and he's going out of plane uh, to the south of us. Maybe a mask gun grabbed a hold of him or something, but we're catching up with him. There's no doubt about it. And we can actually see the different colors and reflected light off the black and the silver panels over. All right, uh, good show. Uh, we'll pass it on to the Fido. You got the data there, Houston? Stand by. We got it all. You can proceed.
Uh, 10, uh, Houston, uh, we can, uh, you can increase your marking time slightly if you'll uh, push your uh, pitch rate up uh, a little bit uh, as you go through the marking uh, cycle. Over. Okay. Yeah, we thought about that. Okay, flight, it's uh, pay attention to business now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is Apollo Control at 126 hours, 20 minutes. To repeat an earlier announcement, the TV transmission scheduled for this time has been postponed. The crew is busy with landmark tracking. The TV transmission has been rescheduled to uh, 132 hours elapsed time on revolution number 29. We'll continue to stand by live. Houston, that completes five marks. We had exactly 30 seconds between the marks. So uh, Roger, 10. Uh, we copy. And uh, Houston, uh, this is 10. Uh, uh, do you want me to go ahead and pitch over before we give us the update and uh, go ahead and talk a little bit? Stand by. Uh, hello, 10. Uh, Houston, you can go ahead and maneuver and give us the high gain, and we'll give you the update after that. Over. All righty. Thank you. You got the data, Charlie? Uh, stand by. Oh, we got it, uh, 10. You can proceed. Okay, pitch it over. Houston, uh, we have uh, uh, TEI pads for you and uh, rev updates and uh, uh, landmark tracking updates. Over. Uh, go ahead. You want to start on the map update? Uh, uh, your choice, uh, 10. Over. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, Tom. Uh, first, we'd like, we got a save vector for you. If you give us a poo and accept, and I'll start out with the uh, map update for Rev 27. 
one, two. Okay, we're in full and accept. Okay, uh, 10, coming at you with uh, Rev 27, uh, map update. One, two, seven, one, five, one, five. One, two, seven, two, six, two, six. One, two, eight, zero, one, two, six. Okay, a, a landmark tracking update coming at you for CP1. One, two, seven, three, five, zero, two. One, two, seven, three, eight, zero, three. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, five, three, zero, zero, zero. North, one, four, one, two, four, one. Are you with me, over? Go ahead, over. Uh, Roger, CP2 is T1, one, two, seven, five, zero, two, five. One, two, seven, five, one, three, zero. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, zero. North, zero, five, zero, three, Five zero. F one. T one time for F one is one two eight zero three one zero. One two eight zero four five five. Zero 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 three three one zero zero zero. North one zero one four four one K for one thirty T one time for one thirty is one two eight two four one six one two eight two five four seven Zero 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 two six eight zero 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 north one two one two four zero and uh, we got a TEI twenty seven pad if you're ready to copy over. Okay, stand by on the TEI pad. Okay, go ahead, Charlie. All right, Tom. TEI number 27, SPS GNN. We're NA down to noun, through noun 48. Noun 33 is 129er, 39er, 18781. 3236700. 00410. Plus three balls, seven five. Pitch angle zero six one. And it's two jets for fourteen seconds on the yellage. And I'm standing by for your readback. Zero one one 
zero 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 north zero five zero three five zero F one one two eight zero three one zero one two eight zero four five five zero 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 three three one zero 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 north one zero one four four one one thirty one two eight two four one six one two eight two five four seven zero 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 two six eight zero 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 north one two one two four zero over all right all a good read back uh, standing by for the tei pad PEI 27, SPS GNN, uh, now 33 is 129er, 39er 1871, plus 32367, plus 00410, plus 00075, and pitch is 061 at 2 jet 14 seconds. All right, good read back, uh, Gene, and uh, the computer's yours, you can go back to block. And uh, Tom, we got a uh, TV plan for you. Uh, if you'd uh, like to turn to uh, page uh, 385 of your flight plan, and we'll run through this, see what you think about it. Uh, when you get there, give me a call, over. Okay, I'm there, Charlie, go. Okay, uh, what we'd like to do is, uh, we think we can, uh, on uh, Rev 29, uh, we can get good high gain and TV on both revs 29 and 31 by doing the following things. On uh, Rev 29, uh, we'd like to get the obliques to landing uh, site three that flies inked into the flight plan. That is roll angle 180, ordeal of 339 in pitch, heads down, and we'll send you the landing site three pad as scheduled. This will give us good TV obliques for training and a high gain ac acquisition, but the high gain acquisition may be delayed just slightly, but uh, we think we'll probably get it right away. Uh, now on Rev 31, uh, coming up uh, on uh, page uh, 389, uh, we'd like to, uh, uh, during the decent strip photos, w we suggest that you fly them as you flew them this morning when you were doing the vertical stereo on Rev 23 uh, with a roll angle of 180, an ordeal of 282 in pitch. And uh, re all our remarks are to remember to pitch as required to shade the windows near the terminator. And again, we'll send you the pad as scheduled. And this attitude will give us a, a good TV, a good high gain for TV panoramas of what you guys are seeing flying backwards. And if uh, you concur with uh, that schedule, uh, we'd like to go as is. Over. Okay, uh, that seems uh, real good now. And um, we'll get an update after that. On, I sure we'll have an update pad for TEI after that, and we should, we'll be all squared away. Uh, Roger, very good. Uh, if you feel like we're pushing you on TEI on the Rev 31, uh, we can uh, discontinue that uh, uh, TV at any time. Over. Okay. Uh, we'll check and see how it goes. Uh, we want to get everything squared away for TEI, and that certainly has about the last priority, but we'll see how it works out. Fine, Tom. And I, I guess we're all squared away to pick it up on the over, and I guess we're all squared away to pick it up after TEI when we come around to look back, right? Over. Uh, that's affirmative. We got you for that, and we'll be standing by, Al. Roger. Hey, uh, Paula 10, uh, Houston uh, on uh, the Rev 26 tracking that we saw for uh, uh, F1 and, uh, and 130. Uh, John, you did a great job. It's looking really great. Over. Thank you. But it was a team effort. Uh, roger.
Hello, uh, the Palatine, uh, Houston. Uh, you know, we'd like you to start uh, charging battery B, over. Roger, battery B. Okay, babe, if you think we can hack it, here it goes. All looks good here, Charlie. Uh, Roger, you, know, uh, you really aren't pulling much more current at all out of this thing, and we think you're going to be in good shape. Over. Hey, uh, you know that idea on the fans to uh, build up the crowd pressure? Uh, man, that's a great idea. It brings them up, uh, appears to bring them up faster, and if it uses less energy, uh, man, maybe we should be doing that all the time. Uh, Roger. This is Apollo Control. We're showing an orbit on uh, this revolution of 67.4 by 54.2 nautical miles. Uh, 10 Houston, we got uh, 10 minutes LOS. Uh, see you over the hill at uh, 12801. Uh, Okay, uh, Charlie, look, we've been talking this over, and what we'll do is when we shoot those obliques in the landing site three, we'll give you the TV pass then. We'd like to continue on, and, and if this Viticon has the strength, I'd like to show you what Earth shine is around the moon. And just continue on, and we'll delay B-52 a little bit, and then that'll be the only TV pass here. Now, we think we want to get everything squared away before TEI. And then after TEIA, as we leave the moon, uh, turn it around and we'll turn that barrel on full time for you. Over. Uh, Roger, 10. Uh, that's a good plan to us. Uh, we concur. Over. Roger. Uh, 10, Houston, uh, two minutes to LOS. You're looking great going over the hill. Over. Okay, children. Thank you. This is Apollo Control at 127 hours, 15 minutes, and we've had a loss of signal on the 26th revolution. Just prior to acquisition on this revolution, the uh, crew saw 
the descent stage of Snoopy, the lunar module. Uh, after we acquired, Tom Stafford uh, came up and said while they had been behind the moon, they saw what uh, looked like a star out of place, but that Gene Cernan, using the monocular, could uh, see the legs of the descent stage, and it was identified as part of Snoopy. Tom reported it appeared that uh, Charlie Brown uh, was catching up slowly to the descent stage, but was in a different plane. Landmark tracking considered uh, continued throughout this uh, pass. We passed up a TV plan suggesting uh, television transmissions on Revolution 29 at uh, 132 hours. This will be while the crew is uh, taking oblique photographs of landing site 3. And we suggested, if possible, uh, descent or TV on Rev 31 while the crew is taking descent strip uh, photographs. That would be at approximately 134 hours elapsed time. A little bit later, Tom Stafford came back and scrubbed out the uh, Revolution 31 television. Pointed out that they would be busy getting ready for the trans-earth injection burn. He indicated that on the uh, Revolution 29 television, that in addition to providing television during the photography, he would leave it on a little bit longer and attempt to show earth shine. He also indicated that he would turn the television camera on after the trans-earth injection burn and leave it on for a while. We're presently showing an ignition time for trans-earth injection of 137 hours, 36 minutes, 28 seconds. That may change a little bit prior to uh, TEI, but it should not change a great deal. And as we lost signal on this revolution, Apollo 10 was in a 67.6 by 54.1 nautical mile orbit. The orbital period, one hour, 58 minutes, 49 seconds. Velocity, 5,312 feet per second. And spacecraft weight, 36,750 pounds. We will acquire Apollo 10 on the 27th revolution at 128 hours, one minute. This is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 128 hours. We're 30 seconds away from acquisition of Apollo 10 on the 27th Lunar Revolution.
Houston, uh, we got the data. You can proceed. Houston, 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 we finished with landmark 130. I right, rocked the 10, we copy. Uh, 10, uh, Houston, we got uh, quite a few things to talk to you about uh, on a flight plan. Uh, we'd like you to, uh, uh, for your rest attitude, uh, to change your roll angle from uh, 180 to 090. Uh, rest of it's okay. Your high gain uh, changes to a uh, pitch of zero zero and a yaw of two four zero. Over. Okay, uh, Charlie, why don't you run us by that again? Well, nobody was on a headset. Okay, Roger. Uh, we got the data. You can proceed on out of 22. And uh, we got some flight plan updates for you, starting on page uh, 382, over. Roger, wait a second. Okay, uh, on the uh, rest attitude at uh, we at 128.29, we'd like you to maneuver to a roll of 090 so we can cool down quad A. And uh, the pitch and yaw are the same as listed in the flight plan. The high gain antenna angles are pitch of 00, zero yaw 240. Okay, going on down the page to the uh, fuel cell O2 purge. We'd like you to do the fuel cell O2 purge on fuel cells two and three. And uh, same page, we have a map update, Rev 29, if you're ready to copy, over. Go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the fuel, uh, the O2 purge right now on two and three. Uh, roger, Gene. Okay, uh, Rev 29, map update, 131. One two two four one three one two three one eight one three one five eight three five. Do you want to read that back to me? Over. Okay, Charlie. Uh Rev 29 is 131, 1224, 131, 231, 1318, 1315. All right, and uh, let's go on to page uh, 385 in the flight plan. Okay, but may we change canister B uh, a little bit late. Let me find it for you. I'll tell you exactly when we changed it. Uh, standing by. We changed it at uh, 120. We changed canister B late. We changed it at 127 hours. Okay, we copy uh, canister B at 127 hours. And uh, we have an update on uh, page 385 if you're ready to copy. Over. Go ahead, Charlie. Okay, uh, Gene, uh, 385, the update for the uh, oblique strip. Uh, we're giving you the... Uh, uh, same update as this morning. Uh, roll pitch and y'all are roll 180, 339 and 000. zero, zero. Your T0 or F8 time is 1321748. Change to F2.8 at 
2716. Okay, your T1 time is 1323016. T2 is 1323216. Now the uh, F8 and the F2.8 F stops are stop changes are for the sequence camera only. We'd like you to use F4 at 1 125th for the black and white. Over.
on both Main A and Main B one and a half hours prior to the TEI burn. Over. Okay, Charlie, I understand that. I'll cycle the crowd fans and then off. I'll take power off. That's this electronic ECA. O2 tank heater number two to auto and number one to off. H2 tank number one to auto and two to off. Continue back B charge and I'll power up the high gain. Uh, Roger, Gene. Uh, it's good read back. Uh, now, at, the, at our present uh, uh, temperature decrease on fuel cell one, we'll, we will not have to put it on the line prior to uh, the above time. The minimum temperature for fuel cell one is now 370 degrees, that's 370 scan temp. So uh, we'll place it on the main buses to raise the temp in lieu of using the inline heaters during trans-earth coast. I'd like to emphasize, uh, please do not use the fuel cell heater on fuel cell one. And at the present rate of uh, decay of the temperature in fuel cell one, looks like we'll have to put it on the buses about every 20 hours. Over. Fine, that suits us fine, Charlie. Okay, good. Uh, one little uh, last thing is that we got some word on uh, we got some word for you on the storage of the limb cameras and the LIOH canister. We like. We suggest that you wrap the cameras in an LCG and store them in A8. Stand by one. Uh, Ten, uh, stand by. We got a recent update on the camera storage. We'll be right with you. Over. Houston, uh, say again. Now we uh, we're going to go to maneuver to the sleep attitude at this time. All right, so that's fine, now, Tom. Go ahead, go ahead on the maneuver, and uh, your computer's yours. And I'll be back with you when we get the high gain on the uh, on the Hasselblad and uh, canister. Over. Okay.
Hey, uh, John, on uh, on 130, you're within 300 feet on your altitudes on uh, every pass across uh, 130. It's uh, really uh, great. The impact's calling you the mechanical man. I'm just tracking that hole. Uh, you should have seen him. He was really putting it right on the money there. It was great. Right, yeah, we can tell that from the data, Tom. It looks really great. Uh, Dan, that's all we got for you. We're going to hold up. Yeah, George Miller is... Yeah, I was going to say, Charlie, if George Miller is around here, tell him to smile. Over. Okay, uh, he was grinning last night. I haven't seen him tonight. Uh, that's all we got for you, Tim. Uh, we're going to hold up on this storage of the of the cameras and the canister till uh, we come back in the Transverse Coast. Over. Yeah, Roger. We're only going to be pulling about one G when the engine fires off here, Charlie. We got everything already pretty much uh, configured for that, so so we'll be in good shape uh, to take care of the rest of it. Over. Right, we concur. Out. Hello, uh, Ten. Uh, we have you on a high gain now. Do you read me over? Charlie, read you loud and clear. Roger, Tom. Uh, one further uh, recommendation. Uh, Quads, Bravo, and Charlie are the fattest, and we recommend for the sleep period you configure the DAP for attitude control using Quads, Bravo, and Charlie. And otherwise, you're in good shape. Uh, good night. We'll see you in, in uh, three and a half hours or so. Over. Okay. Roger. This is Apollo Control at 128 hours, 50 minutes. The Apollo 10 crew begins a three and a half hour rest period. After a considerable amount of landmark tracking and photography today, we still have 23 minutes uh, acquisition in this pass. We will stay up through a loss of signal, however, we probably will not hear from the crew or contact them uh, again during this pass. First uh, half of the pass during this acquisition on the 27th revolution was very quiet as the crew completed landmark tracking on landmark 130. We then passed up some uh, flight plan updates, gave them a pr procedure for uh, the fuel cells during uh, the rest period, and informed them that uh, we'd like to have fuel cell one, the fuel cell that has been. Uh, again, on these uh, quads, you want us, we don't want to use quad A, you want us to use quads B and D, over? Uh, that's negative quads, Bravo and Charlie, over. Roger, you want us to fail A and dog, over. A, affirmative. Fuel cell one has been off the line since a pump associated with the fuel cell uh, failed some time ago. The fuel cell itself uh, is all right. There's nothing wrong with the fuel cell, and that fuel cell one will be placed back on the line an hour and a half prior to the trans-earth injection burn. Uh, John Young again reported on uh, the tracking tasks and uh, received praise from the ground for the job he has been doing in this landmark tracking.
We'll continue to stay up through uh, live through LOS uh, about 20 minutes from now. Hello, Apollo 10, uh, Houston. Uh, sorry to disturb you again, but uh, we noticed your uh, DAP uh, uh, quad fails uh, incorrectly. We'd like you to load 00110 so that we'll have uh, some pitch attitude control. Over. Okay, you want zero? Let go. Say that again, Charlie. Uh, Roger, Tom. In uh, register two, uh, we'd like zero zero one one zero. Over. Okay, you got it. Hello, Apollo 10, uh, Houston. Uh, we're not going to give up. Uh, we got. Uh, we noticed your uh, Quad Charlie uh, Auto RCS Select switch is off. We'd like you to configure Bravo and Charlie uh, Auto RCS Select switch is on. Alpha and Dog off. Over. Roger. Alpha and Dog off. Bravo and Charlie on. A affirmative. Hey, maybe it's late at night, Charlie, but you want Alpha and Charlie off and Bravo and Dog on. How are you going to get any pitch control? Uh, we want the Bravo and Charlie on and Alpha and Delta off. Over. All righty. Bravo and Charlie on, Alpha and Delta off. Got it. Thank you. Right. This is Apollo Control at 129 hours, 13 minutes. We've had loss of signal on Revolution 27. Acquisition time for Revolution 28 is 130 hours. We do not expect to have a conversation with the crew during that acquisition. We're now in a three and a half hour rest period. We will uh, come up and bring you any conversation we do have on the next revolution. We're now showing Apollo 10 in a 67.9 by 53.8 nautical mile orbit with an orbital period of 1 hour, 58 minutes, 50 seconds. This is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 130 hours, 5 minutes. We have acquired Apollo 10 on the 28th revolution. There has been no conversation, and we do not expect any. Crew still has uh, an hour and 52 minutes in its rest period. The TEI time, trans-Earth injection time, has not changed yet, still remains 137, 36, 28. Uh, this may be refined later, but the present time, that is the uh, latest ignition time. The black team, which has been led by Jerry Griffin today, 
will change shifts uh, slightly early this evening and we have scheduled the change of shift news conference for 10.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. If there is conversation uh, during this acquisition time, we'll bring that to you. This is Mission Control Houston. This is Apollo Control at 130 hours, 15 minutes. Flight surgeon reports that uh, Tom Stafford's heart rate is in the mid-40s. That, uh, coupled with his respiration rate, indicates that he is uh, sleeping. Stafford is the only crew member being monitored uh, at this time. John Young and Gene Cernan are in the sleep stations beneath the couches and uh, do not uh, have biomed uh, monitoring at this time. This is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 131 hours, 17 minutes. We've had uh, loss of signal now as Apollo 10 uh, has gone behind the moon on the 28th revolution. We'll be reacquiring the spacecraft again in about 41 minutes at, uh, as it is uh, moving into the 29th revolution after it has uh, begun the 29th rev. And on that uh, revolution, we'll have our... Uh, First look at uh, Lunar Landing Site 3, hopefully. Uh, we have a television transmission scheduled, uh, which will include the uh, landing site in the central bay of the moon. Uh, the crew will also be taking oblique strip uh, photography of that landing site. During the change of shift briefing, we had no further uh, conversation with the spacecraft. The uh, crew is still sleeping. Uh, they have now been in that uh, sleep, peri uh, sleep period for a little over two hours. At uh, 131 hours, 18 minutes, this is Apollo Control. This is Apollo Control at 131 hours, 57 minutes. We're now less than a minute from reacquiring Apollo 10 on its 29th revolution of the moon. The crew has been in a uh, rest period uh, for about three hours. And if they are not awake on their own accord as we uh, reacquire the spacecraft, we'll put in a call to the crew and awaken them. Uh, we have scheduled on this revolution uh, photography and hopefully television of uh, Lunar Landing Site 3. And we'll be standing by to hear from the crew in about 30 seconds now.
Capcom Joe Angle uh, is getting ready to put in a call to the crew. Okay, Tim, this is Houston. Uh, we're standing by for some TV on this pass, and uh, I've got some pads to update to you. I've got a maneuver pad and a couple of map updates. And uh, as soon as you get a chance, we would like to have a crew status uh, as per the flight plan there. Nobody's taking any of the little bills, and we'll reach you out some rats in a minute, over. Hey, that'll be fine. Thank you, Tom. No, go ahead with the maneuver pad. Let's get that one out. Okay. Are you ready to copy? This is for TEI 30, SPS GNN. On your noun 33, it's 135, 37, 1845, plus 35111, plus 00049, plus 01010. Pitch zero five four. All else is NA and uh, stand by for the readback. Okay, T E I thirty S P S T N N one three five three seven one eight four five plus three five plus three five one 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 plus zero 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 four nine or plus zero one zero one zero pitch is uh zero five four and if you didn't get down thirty one it's one three five three seven one eight four five Copy that, and if you'll give us a computer, we'll send a state vector up to you. Apollo 10 is still about uh, 20 minutes away from the approach to Lunar Landing Site 3, at which time we uh, would hope to get TV transmission. <laughs> 